Uh, LiAngelo Ball has been pulled out of UCLA. I uh, remember he was caught shoplifting with a number of players on their visit to China. And uh, LeVar Ball, his dad, decided, hey, we're just going to pull you out of college. It doesn't matter. And uh, they, for some reason, LeVar Ball and LiAngelo were on the Today Show. And here were their, this was their excuse. It seems like they're starting to learn there are consequences to your actions and, and the Ball family isn't taking it very well. Three months being suspended, that was too long for you to wait? Yeah, that's, that's the whole season pretty much. China already said, okay, he made a bad mistake, we're gonna drop the charges. That's the punishment they gave him. But in China for stealing, you But that's the punishment they gave years. him. Now we over here, look, at, we gotta serve some more punishment? He apologized. What is the loan process for? We only went to UCLA, one and done, to play basketball. basketball I'm going to get right. Jello in shape. I'm going to work him out. We're going to do some other things, and he's going to be headed to the NBA. All right, so first off, a number of different things there. Uh, that wasn't the punishment China gave him. China would have thrown him in jail for two to ten years, okay? The only reason LiAngelo Ball is out is because the president got him out and now look you can you don't have to like trump it doesn't matter they didn't need to pick a fight lavar ball and trump the whole thing is a bit ridiculous but that's the reason he leangelo is back not because china was like all right you can have him back it's because there was an actual negotiation that took place between the president of the united states and china to get uh the middle ball brother out uh also leangelo ball is not going to the nba next year and it, he's, in fact, he, he's a role player on UCLA. LeVar Ball has said, oh, he's going to make, he's going to score 25 points a game. No, that wasn't going to happen. He was a role player. And, you know, there's a rumor going around that LeVar Ball is going to send him overseas and he's going to play in China. And the, the youngest son, LaMelo, he'll go over there too. I think LaMelo is a little bit better than LiAngelo. But LiAngelo is going to have a lot of trouble finding work overseas too. And... <laughs> Clearly, first of all, he's he's not responsible enough to go overseas, as we found out. All right, and and also, Levar Ball just pretending like, oh, he got suspended. It's annoying that we have to serve such a long suspension because my son got sh caught shoplifting in China. All right, look, he wasn't caught robbing the Rite Aid down the street. He was in a foreign country. And he got caught and thrown in jail in a country that has a 99% conviction rate, okay? You, you, you don't just, I know this may be hyperbole, but you don't just say, all right, well, I murdered someone and I got the life sentence. Why does it have to be a life sentence? I've been in jail for a year. I learned my lesson. No, you're suspended for two to three months for a reason because you really screwed up. And the Ball family really hasn't handled that well. They need to learn that there's consequences for their actions. And look, I've spoke highly of LeVar Ball before. I thought he was making a brilliant, had a brilliant plan uh, with Lonzo by making him wear Nike shoes and Adidas shoes and Reebok shoes the next day. I thought it was brilliant because he was giving these companies free press and that he could sort of be an independent contractor for each of these companies on a game-by-game -game basis. Clearly, he's not as brilliant as I made him out to be. Uh, Really, and, and then finally, I'm, I'm okay with having your kids play overseas, but you don't commit to college and then pull them out because you're annoyed that they punished him for doing something that he shouldn't have been doing. Okay.